Yesterday's storms caused dangerous situations for a lot of boaters in our area. Nadine Yanis joins us now with one family story in an interview you will see only on News 6. Well, Lisa, this Altamont Springs dad says that it was supposed to be a sunny Sunday on the boat, but this is how it ended with his sister, brother-in-law, wife, and two young children having to be rescued. After they were caught in a storm, he says that snuck up on them his family's rescue, all caught on camera. Oh my gosh, they need help. Even strangers staying on New Smyrna Beach Sunday were worried for Ian Diaz and his family. Being saved from a storm, Diaz describes as fast and ferocious. And I was the last one to, to jump off. He watched the video provided to us by that viewer today. It was, it was too, too fast. Showing us the moment the lifeguard pulled his one and a half year old son and three year old daughter to safety. Once I was able to get my son to, to the lifeguard, it was just okay. At least we got them. A safe ending to what was supposed to be a sunny Sunday on the boat. Snapping these pictures of his kids and brother-in-law, he says, were taken just minutes before the swift storm rolled in. The skies got really dark really fast. And they were caught in it. Waves 10 to 15 feet high, he says, were crashing into their 21-foot boat from all directions. I looked at my wife and, and, uh, and my sister-in-law, and they had this face of, are we going to make it? As Diaz called the Coast Guard, the wind pushed the boat towards the shore where Volusia County lifeguards were waiting. He was one of four boats in Volusia County in distress in the same storm. Now the coast in Titusville, another group had to be rescued after their boat capsized. It kind of felt relief like we weren't the only one. At the end of the day, we're all safe and, and we all just had a, a life experience to tell it at this point. But yeah, definitely a, a scary moment. Definitely scary. Well, in Volusia County yesterday, lifeguards rescued a total of 25 people, both on boats and in the water. Red flags flew again today. At 6 o'clock, we're going to speak to the lifeguards about the rescues yesterday, and we're going to get results by getting tips on what you can do if you get into a, caught into a storm like this one.